How do we deal with uh, complications and uh, difficulties uh, during an operation? Well, I think the important thing about dealing with complications is first avoiding them. So trying to understand up front what the potential issues may be, what the potential uh, complications might occur and how you're going to manage them if they do occur. So really it starts with setting up and being prepared. Second is that there are a variety of unique complications related to CTLPCI and so it's very challenging because a lot of the things from non-CTO uh, intervention don't apply within a CTO. So you really have to sort of reevaluate and relearn a bunch of different management strategies specific to doing these kind of complex cases. Do new equipments and new techniques help in this field? I think what we're seeing is as more attention is drawn into the field, we're getting newer technologies that make it safer, easier, and more wider adoption. But again, as the envelope is pushed by some of the experts, we start to see unique events occurring and will continue to push us to get better equipment and better techniques to solve those issues. So can we say that we improve uh, the health of a patient? Yeah, it's very clear that what we're doing here is now helping patients feel better, live much better quality of lives, and in some cases prolonging their life when before they've really had no hope because there's been no opportunity to treat them or to help them get better. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Pleasure.